Hi besties, how are we doing? Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly if you're new. I'm so excited for today's video. We are doing in-store shopping and I'm going to do some little fun try-on hauls and see what is popping off. I'm mainly going to be doing window shopping because your girl is poor. I am poor at the moment but I might have to treat myself with like one or two items because I know myself and I'll want a little treat. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if you're on an angle. This camera, tripod, and me are having beef at the moment. And I, we're on our last legs. Like, I'm, I've got my boxing gloves out, ready to fight. Anyway, let's get a coffee because I'm, it's very much needed to start the long day of trying on clothes. Now, for my outfit, I don't think I'm going to be wearing around this big fluffy jacket because I'm just going to get too hot. I've got on a basic black tee. If I'm trying on pants, skirts, or shorts... I feel like if there's pattern stuff and I've got a pattern top, it kind of just doesn't, I don't get the full vision. So I've got that on and just a plain pair of jeans. Anyway, let's come inside because I'm getting a lot of stares from people coming into the car park and it is quite, it's quite humbling. So let's get that sorted. I'm going to fix this tripod because we are like, I'm fuming. I am just going to put on this little beret cardigan thing just in case I get cold, but I can shove it in my bag. Also another thing before we go in, bring in your own bag like this so you don't have to get like a bunch of plastic or paper bags when you're shopping another key factor is to bring your own water bottle the amount of times i pay for water and i'm like that was just stupid i should have just brought my own so yeah anyway anyway there's some little tips and tricks when you're going shopping i'm really excited to go window shopping if you're new to my channel i can see you so don't be fake like and subscribe i'm kind of in a really weird mood today because i think it's like the first day i'm still slightly sick oh my god like i can't even Oh, and also, this isn't my car. I'm not even going to talk about that because it's actually another thing in my life that's just going wrong. So anyway, this is very much needed, this retail therapy. It's like kind of the first day where I slightly feel better and I feel like a bit of a human. So I'm really excited. Okay, let's go because I've literally just rambled on for 10 minutes. didn't really want to film in store because it's just the lighting is always really not it when I film and it's also just awkward carrying around a big camera so here's the website you can have a browse heading into spring and summer just makes me so excited seeing the new styles and collections that are coming and oh my god I want some new swimwear I want some cute summer spring accessories anyway let's get into what I've picked out for our little try on haul okay it is try on time wow we have a lot of clothes to go through like yikes I really went for it first up I tried on these lounge sweatpants and I really loved the little band of them they were super comfortable very flattering on however they were way too long for me this is a classic for me like I was <laughs> drowning in them at the bottom but they were super cute and very comfortable and a good price. Okay, this skirt was way too big for me. I literally just tried it on just to show you what it looked like. And I loved the pattern. I always gravitate towards these sort of skirts. I don't know why. And for $15, what a steal. Next up was this really stunning dress. I've actually got a matching set in this print anyway, so I didn't buy it. I didn't love the slit at the back. However, I loved the pattern of it. And it was giving very much hot girl Europe. Next up were these jorts. I, I don't know why I keep trying to wear jorts, but they just... Looked awful on me. I also tried on this little cute pink singlet, which I don't have enough of these. I really need to invest in these heading into spring and summer. The jorts were just knotted and they were also rubbing and I just, I wanted to get them off immediately. Tried on the same singlet that was in pink in grey. And I really liked that as like an everyday basic. Next up was this green top and I don't have anything like this and I really liked the rounded neck, which I thought I wouldn't. Next up was this crop top. Tell me this does not scream the summer I turned pretty or out of banks, like obsessed so cute i love the pattern of it and i also tried on this long maxi skirt which is so in for summer i really wish that it was my size but unfortunately it wasn't but here's the prices of the two items okay round two we are doing loungewear activewear and kind of sleepwear oh my favorite i love cotton on body let's get into round two okay if you know me you know i love a graphic tee and care bears is my shit i was so close to buying this oversized bedtime tee but i just i didn't need it unfortunately it just it was so cute though i was so obsessed with it so comfortable here's the back of the t-shirt i kind of liked it better the back than like the front design to be honest but 
If you're into Care Bears, go get the Care Bears collection. I have been dying to get a cute little onesie activewear set for the longest time. Here's me trying to show you the back, but really poorly. I'm just not sure if I like the thicker straps and like the scoop neckline. I just was unsure. Here's a better look of it from the back. I just, I'm not 100%. Oh, the struggles. Then I tried on this really cute like lavender purple lounge set. I loved the shorts of this, but I didn't like the top. It felt way too tight under my armpits and I hate that feeling. That feeling is the worst. Like, get it off me if I can't breathe properly under my armpits and it feels too tight around my neck big fat no but i loved the shorts like super cute if you know me or if you've watched any of my other videos there's no way in hell i'm working out if i'm not feeling cute and sexy and i was feeling cute and sexy in this baby pink little moment it doesn't really show the color well on camera but i did really enjoy this and i thought it was a cute little set coming into spring they also had it in like a light blue and uh purple as well Oh my god, this tennis skirt, shut up. They also had this in purple, white, and pink. And I'm obsessed with it. It was giving, like, almost Gossip Girl vibes for some reason. I don't know why that came into my head, but this top was also really cute. It had, like, a cutout at the back. I'm obsessed with the ultimate tennis skirt. I wish I got it. Here's the back of the little top that I tried on better. It had that really nice cutout. And I tried on these leggings, like, active wear leggings. Again, way too long for me. The struggles of being small is honestly real. Then I tried on this bodysuit, which I liked a bit better, but I'm just not 100% sure. Next up is Cipre, and I'm so excited. They have the best basics at the moment, so let's jump right into it. I'm obsessed with Cipre, and they have the best basics at the moment. I need to go through my closet and just talk out old, manky singlets and t-shirts and just go buy a bunch of basics from Cipre, because if that's what you're looking for, this store has it. And if you're going back to school or uni or work and kind of just need everyday staple items. And if you've been a Supre girly for a long time, you will know the upgrade that they've had. Oh my god, I remember the little pink Supre bags and headbands. Wow, what a throwback. You know you're such a girly girl when you love just going to the change room and there's a bunch of clothes to try on. Like, this just is my pure excitement and joy in life. Like, trying on clothes, seeing if it's going to be a vibe or not. And we have a lot to go through. First up was this top. Now, I've seen this on the website and I did a TikTok on this, but oh, this was oh, not it, not it. Not it for me, it did not suit me at all, but I can see how some girlies would look really cool in it. I did kind of like the colour and the pattern, and I liked the v-neck, but the long little bit just wasn't it. Then I tried on this little tie-up moment, and it just kind of, um, I don't know, Just I don't think it looked super flattering on me. Kind of made my boobs look a bit weird, I reckon, and... I don't know, I loved the pattern of it and it was very spring. I also tried on this little cute singlet and I loved this pattern. It was giving like very much lacy, elegant, girly girl vibes. I was very happy with that. Then I tried on this bodysuit. These bodysuits were so comfortable. They had them in a range of colours and I loved the like cut of this, the square neck cut. And it was that really soft fabric that I've got from Supre already in my t-shirts and I was, I really wanted to buy a couple of them. Next up was this dress and it was way too big for me but I just wanted to see like the overall style and I didn't mind it but I think it needs to have like accessories, a wavy kind of hair, little platform shoes and kind of dress it up but I didn't mind it. I tried on this dress and I really loved the lacy vibe of it and also just the overall pattern I think was really flattering. I just unfortunately couldn't afford it, but I thought it was super cute. But do you think it's almost kind of like giving nighty vibes? Next up was this black long maxi dress, and I thought it was super flattering on. Like, I feel like it shaped my body really nicely. However, I just feel like I couldn't walk in it properly, and it just kind of felt like too tight. Like, next up is Glassons. I haven't been here in a hot minute, so let's see what they've got to offer. I haven't shopped on Glassons in a hot minute, and... I'm just loving every item they've got here. It's so good. I do feel like they've got a lot of good basics like Supre and Cotton On. So if you are wanting some everyday items and then they've got a lot of like party girly moments as well. I really want to know. It's giving Sophia Richie this location. Like look how nice that is. I'm obsessed. Doesn't matter what time or day, but Glassons is always busy and there's always girlies lining up. So I just bought a bunch of stuff into the change rooms and let's get right into it. First up was this top. It's kind of giving me like beachy vibes. I thought it was cute, but I wasn't like obsessed with it. I don't know. Just I wasn't like head over heels. 
Next up was this sequins number and it's giving Hannah Montana. They also had it in a dress and in silver as well. I think this would be really cool with like big hooped earrings. Next up was this kind of everyday basic crop knit and I think it would look really cute with the jeans that I'm wearing from Glassons. I loved the cut of it, the v-neck, but the sleeves kind of felt too bunchy and long. So it was a no for me. Tried on this dress and I was like, something's not right. Then I realized I'm an idiot and I had it on backwards. <laughs> I was like, why is it suffocating me at the front? That looks a lot better, doesn't it? I thought this was so cute, so preppy. It kind of reminded me of like Olivia Rodrigo, like something she would wear with like big chunky boots. Then I tried on these biker shorts and they were super cute, super comfortable, fun for like an active wear moment or just if you wanted to wear them on an everyday basis. Next up are these baby blue lounge pants and I'm so proud of myself that I didn't buy them because I know if I did I just wouldn't take them off. The material was so soft and I loved them. Kind of wish it had like a matching top. I don't think it did. Then I thought it would be a really good idea to try on jorts again at a different store. And it was so humbling. Like why do I just... They do nothing for me. They look awful. I just... I have always had dance. Oh my god, no. So bad. They just were not for me, unfortunately. I've tried, I've tried. I quickly grabbed something to eat. Then I was feeling super lightheaded. So you'll understand why I didn't go into sports girl in a second. Oh my god, I literally have the biggest headache. I was gonna go to Dotty Sports Girl and Gander, but I honestly just like my. It really hurts. So I think I spoke too soon about my sinus infection going away because. Look at me. Anyway, I was a really good girl and only got three items, so I'll show you when I get home. But yeah, I. Sorry, I didn't show you any more stores. I literally couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. I ate and I was like, wow, I feel worse, so. Anyway, it's whole time when we get home. Yay! I need to show you the three items I purchased. I'm really happy with them. And I'm really happy and proud of myself that I didn't lose any self-control and buy more than three items. Cotton on was my favourite today. Round of applause for cotton on. As you saw in the try-on, there were so many cute items in cotton on today. Like, I was blown away. These are pretty basic items, but I feel like... I'm not going to regret buying them. I ended up getting this cute green top and I really liked the colour and I loved the cut of it. So I'm very happy with that. I thought this was a really cute basic heading into spring and I don't really have any green tops like this, like basic ones that I can wear every day. I feel like when I go shopping, I get too carried away sometimes and I don't buy basics. So then I wonder why I don't have just normal t-shirts to wear. Like I'm a bit crazy with my outfits sometimes. So I'm, um, yeah. Really happy with that. Then I got another cute basic. I really enjoyed these singlets. These were so pretty. Um, and I just don't have a grey singlet. Like I was thinking when I was there. I was like, I actually don't have a nice cute grey little singlet. And this one was $19. So very happy with that. With like little shorts for summer or a skirt or a pair of jeans. The lucky last item I bought, which is something I've been wanting for a while. If you've watched any of my other videos I swear I banged on about this a couple times. I ended up getting a bodysuit and I'm really happy with it. I got this one with the thinner straps. I was tossing up between the thicker ones. I think the thinner straps worked better and it made my shoulders look like less broad, if that makes sense. This one does have a built-in bra, which I really appreciated, but I do want to take the padding maybe out because I don't know if it really was necessary for me to have that. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's also 57% recycled polyester, which is really good. And this was valued at $50, so this one was a bit more expensive. The reason why I wanted a bodysuit so badly was I think they're perfect for obviously working out in. But then also you can wear them when you go shopping, so you can just throw things over the top. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little try-on haul in-store. I definitely want to go to more shops, but I honestly am just... I'm not feeling great, so... We did what we could and that's fine. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe comment down below if you want to see these types of videos again or maybe another thrifting video because I'm happy to quite literally do any type of fashion video. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around till the end and I'll see you very soon. Bye!